Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, November 19th, 2023. This puzzle has a title, it's called Thanksgiving Meal Prep. And before we get started on the solve, I'd like to continue our annual tradition of making a request of you all to consider leaving turkeys off of your plate this Thanksgiving. Turkeys are kind, intelligent birds that don't deserve the treatment that we inflict on them every year for Thanksgiving. As an alternative, I'd encourage you to look into a plant-based alternative. I'm going to be leaving a recipe that I really like in the description of this video. It's a white bean seitan roast, and it always goes over really well in my household. Also, I'm going to be sponsoring a turkey that lives at a local farm sanctuary. If you'd like to sponsor a turkey too, I'll also leave that link in the description as well. Alright, well, let's get started. One across, it grows on trees. I really want this to be bark. Blank tea. I guess this could be boba tea, also known as bubble tea. Exclamations of enlightenment. That's gotta be ahas. Outer layer. Is that the rind? Hmm. ASD, that looks a little weird. Ditto. Oh, I guess this could be as do I. That does work. Home to Dublin and Toledo. This is pretty funny. These are European cities, but they're also cities in Ohio. 1988 Beach Boys hit with a geographical title. That's gotta be Kokomo. So what do we have here? Is this a theme answer? Stockpile bread. This does have a question mark at the end of it. Hmm. It does feel like it's going to be a theme answer though, so it might not be a straightforward wordplay clue. Bank. Yeah, that could be stockpile. Hmm. Fighting sport for short. That's mixed martial arts. But umts Sounds. Those would be rim shots, like after a joke. So is this bank rolls? Oh, there we go. So maybe we're gonna have Thanksgiving food puns as our answers today. Okay. The White Lotus Network. Is that on HBO? That's kind of a guess. Ritual whose name translates to covenant. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Dance form featured in the documentary Kumahina. I wonder if that's the Hora. Let's see here. Web addresses. No, that's gotta be URLs. Yeah, so maybe this is the Hula instead. Stage name of Montero Lamar Hill. I gotta imagine that's Lil Nas X because doesn't he have a song called Montero? That would make a lot of sense. St. Francis of Assisi. Okay. Tizzy, that could be a snit. Since, that's gotta be as of. Aids in planning. Hmm, it feels like this could be a lot of things. G-men, those are government men or feds. Let's see what our next theme answer is. Selects green bean casserole, candied yams, and mashed potatoes. <laughs> okay, it seems like it's going to end in sides. These are all side dishes. Hmm. Maybe it has to be chooses sides. Yeah, that makes sense. Slices and dices. That's got to be chops. That fits with our food theme. Absolutely not. Is there a reason why there's no space here? Maybe it's just weird italics. Hmm. This is an equivalent phrase. It's gotta be heck no, right? Although... Maybe it's hell no because PK looks really bad. Let's try that. Chortled syllable? I guess that could be he. Blast from the past, so to speak. This has gotta start with old, right? I don't know how it's gonna end. Kilt folds, those should be pleats. Gets caught? I guess that could be snags, yeah. Like a piece of clothing. Part of a rock band. 
This is wordplay. Hmm. I wonder if this is or. You could have a band of or in a rock. So this is oh dear, goodness, an equivalent phrase. Pro tip about seasoning stuffing. That's got to be sage advice, right? These are very funny puns. Yeah, because you could put sage in your stuffing. Untold millennia. That should be eons. Enter a bear market. Huh. A bear market. That's usually a stock market that's going down. Loch Ness Monster, apparently. That would be a hoax. So is this sag? I guess the stock market is sagging. And this is an old song. That makes sense. Aids in planning. Hmm. Does it start with today? Love lines. This is more wordplay, so it's not about a line on your palm. This has to be lines of a song or a poem. This could be odes. Nice. Oh, so this is to-do lists. There we go. Tournament ranking. That's got to be a seed. Chuck Taylor All-Star EG. That would be an example of a sneaker. Okay. Full House Twins. That's the Olsons. Length of some fun runs informally. Would that be 1K? One kilometer? Alex's partner in the jewelry industry. Hmm. I definitely don't know this one. Sanctify. That could be bless. Hairstyle that the Brits call fringe. Is that what they call bangs? I guess that would make sense. Having an even score. Hmm. I guess it could be all tied. And then this would be Annie. Debate roasting versus deep frying. Yeah, this is going to have to be talk, we'll say, tofurky. Okay. Start of some countdowns. That's got to be 10, like a rocket launch, right? Okay. There aren't enough words. German candy with a caramel center. Hmm. I'm not sure if I know what this is. Breaking up. That should be ending it. Okay, nice. Word with bump or trap. Speed bump, speed trap, yeah. Captain Marvel EG, she would be a superhero. Peruse. That could be reed. Is this ear? Corn unit. Yeah, you could have that for Thanksgiving too. City on the Kenai Peninsula. Hmm, I'm not sure where this peninsula is. It's a city. Huh. Twas the night before Christmas. Is this Seward? I've never heard of that city before. Unspecific amount in a recipe. That would be a dash. Maybe a dash of sage. Arthur of tennis. That's Arthur Ashe. It is Seward. Where is this? This has got to be another theme answer. Steers the dessert cart. Oh my god, is it shepherd's pie? Yeah, I think it has to be. That is crazy. Cupid's counterpart. That's got to be Eros. Part of some pods. I guess if we're talking about a group of whales, it could be an orca, right? Entrance. Hmm. Interesting. This looks a little weird. I wonder if something's wrong here. Measurer of acidity. Shouldn't that be a pH strip? So is this not an orca? pH strip. Hmm. Entrance. What's going on here? Actress Jessica. Shouldn't that be Jessica Alba? Maybe it's not a pH strip either. Interesting. Bid first say. Hmm. It's not anti, is it? Is it open? 
Let's see here. Inspiration for the tribute band A Teens with this little asterisk. Huh. I've never heard of this before. Tribute band. Huh. Boyo. Is that just another word for man? Ooh, something weird is happening here. Entrance. Oof, let's try and work in from this direction. Rage, that could be ire. Small game, often. Hmm. Pitchers. This could be ewers. That's another word for pitchers you use to serve liquid. Okay. Inventor Gray, who had a patent war with Alexander Graham Bell. I think this is Elisha? Let's see if that's right. Parsonage. Hmm. So this is like a church district, right? Uh. Huh. What is this? Some nail biters for short. Nail biters. Are these people that are nail biters or are these stressful situations? I don't know. Let me join an equivalent phrase. I want in. Uh, is this a manse? I'm pretty sure that's a minister's house. Is that right? Former Florida flyer. That could be Pan Am, the airline. Home to Fa'a International Airport. Looks like that could be Tahiti. So maybe this is overtimes. Yeah, those would be kind of stressful situations. Open as a drain. I guess that's unstop. Groove could be a rut. Toddler's time out. And this is wordplay, so it's not about a toddler getting in trouble. I think this is a toddler's time out playing with another toddler. So this could be a play date, yeah. Okay, we're making progress. Grabbed a chair, has to be sat. November birthstone. While well, we have the tea, I wonder if it's topaz. Put in a hold. Hmm, is this a wrestling hold? What are they talking about? It looks like it's gonna start with stop. Winter candle scent, that's definitely pine. Actress Taylor Joy of the Queen's Gambit. That's Anya, right? Ardor. That could be zeal. So what do we have here? Noted Celtic musician. That's gotta be Enya, yeah. Blank? Blank? <laughs> this is so funny. Um, what would work here? Real? Real? Would someone actually say that? Put in a hold. Oh, maybe this is putting cargo in a hold. Put in the past tense. Yeah, so it could be stowed. And this could be deal. Deal. That actually sounds really good. So it looks like we have some wine here. Reserve the Chardonnay for later. Hmm. Blank. Wine. Reserve the Chardonnay for later. Oh no. What's a word for reserving something for later? Ah oh, man, I was hoping we could break in here. Hmm. I wonder if this is ABBA? And then maybe this is not open? Hmm. Could this be ABBA? BME seems really, really bad. This does feel like it wants to be Orca, though. This could be pH scale. Bid first. I don't know about ABBA, but this is looking better. Hmm. Entrance. That could be a portal. There we go. So, reserve the Chardonnay for later. Oh, is this table wine? Oh my god, what a great pun. 
So this is not man. Maybe it's a lad. That makes more sense. This is talking about a boy, not a man. So this is a lead, and it was ABBA. Man, what a tricky little knot to untangle down here. Okay. Cease on the seas. That's a vast. Backed up could be saved on a computer. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's an appropriate entry for this puzzle. Features of a vacant stare. This has to be dead eyes. Buffalo NHLers. Okay, that's the Buffalo Sabres. Setting in nomad land. Where were they? I mean, she was kind of traveling all over, wasn't she? Kind of in the Southwest. It's not Reno. Eases. Okay, that's got to be a Bates. Clinton and Obama astrologically. Looks like they're both Leos. Approximation. That's got to be an estimate. Setting in Nomadland. This has got to be an RV lot, right? Because she lived in an RV. Work on one's whisking technique. This is another theme answer. This has got to be gravy train. That's another funny one. What a ghost might do to you. I guess you might be startled by a ghost. Time to head out, an equivalent phrase. Let's go. Let's see if we can do some of these downs here. Go bad. You don't want anything to spoil before Thanksgiving. Quarterbacks. This is more wordplay, so I don't think it's talking about football quarterbacks. I wonder if it's talking about the backs of quarters, like the currency. I guess this could be eagles on older quarters, if we're talking about quarters before they started to do state quarters. Rural Tower. Yeah, that's a silo. Okay. Led Zeppelin's whole lot of love. Land through which the Mekong River flows. That's gotta be Laos. If, then, else. Programming trio. Locale for many cabs. Hmm. I wonder if this is talking about Cabernet. The wine. Yeah. Where would that be? Many cabs. Official language of Guiana. Hmm. Would that be Espanol? This would be Sapa? That's weird. Oh wait, is it Tapa? That doesn't make sense. Research for hors d'oeuvres online. This is another theme answer. So is it Google something? Hmm, this has got to be a kind of hors d'oeuvre, right? Oh, this is going to be Napa, the Napa Valley. Yeah, they grow wine there. Nice. So I guess this is English. That's surprising. Letter before Q. Q. Uh, would this just be the letter P spelled out? I think it might be. Fruit in the custard apple family. I think this has to be a pawpaw. There's a lot of different ways to spell it. Let's try this one. This one fits. Landmark health legislation for short. That could be the Affordable Care Act. Certain recyclable in the Midwest. Hmm. I wonder if that's a PET bottle. A pet bottle? I'm not sure if this is an initialism or an acronym, but yeah, I think it might be this. They use this in Europe too. Common lab culture. That should be E. coli. So maybe this is something else. Let's see here, E. coli. Oh, it's a pop bottle. That's right, because they say pop instead of soda in the Midwest. That's pretty funny. Brand aptly found in natural pooch food. That's got to be Alpo right here. Okay. Tendril could be a wisp. So this is Google Apps. Oh my god, for appetizers. That's really funny. And this is Bob. 
Catchy tune in slang. Yeah, this is a bop. Okay. Sicilian stratovolcano. That's definitely Mount Etna. Things behind the times. This is wordplay. And times is capitalized, so this is definitely not about something retro. Hmm, behind the times. Are they talking about New York times? Is it just New York's? No, that's too short. Martin of Hollywood. That could be Steve Martin. Thursday plus three. That would be Sunday. Foolish. Unwise, yeah. Developing. This feels like it needs to be nascent. Although I don't think that fits, does it? German candy. Uh, oh man, what is this? Philanthropist Pratt, for whom the Baltimore Public Library System is named. Ooh, I definitely don't know this name. Fame. Okay, that could be Renown. This has got to be an E, right? Hmm. Pluck. Is this like Moxie? What is this? Spunk? I don't know. For real in modern parlance. It's not no lie, is it? Heads of org charts. Corporate org charts. That's got to be CEOs. Lucid. That could be sane. Off the wall. I would want this to be zany. Pluck. Oh my god, is this tweeze? You're physically plucking something out? That is so funny. So this is not no lie. This has to be zany. Shiny silver sticker. This is wordplay, so I don't think it's about an adhesive sticker. This has got to be an epe, a fencing sword. It ends when 1-1 one, one begins. That would be the end of New Year's Eve. What is this? For real? Oh man, I think maybe I've never heard of this before. This is probably Enoch. Let's see here. Make cranberry sauce from scratch. Hmm. It's not jam. Some sex cells. That could be ova, plural. Go ahead. That could be okay. Metaphor for a migraine. That definitely can feel like a vice, yeah. On a bias. Hmm. Shouldn't that be a tilt? Is this not vice? Kind of question. That should be a yes no question. Hmm. Ryan Gosling's role in Barbie. He was Ken. Common factor. Factor. Is this just going to be a number? On a bias. So is this kick the can? <laughs> you're not using canned cranberries, you're making it from scratch. That's very funny. No cab. I think I have heard the children say that before. That's interesting. Wow, that's the first time I've seen this on a puzzle. Common factor. Okay, I guess that is two. So is this a skew? Oh, it's a vice with an S. That's right, I always spell this wrong. Yeah, when you're talking about the tool, it's an S, not a C. So this is a K on a bias, a skew. And behind the times. What is this? Oh, it's news racks. Oh my God. It is talking about the New York Times. And this is nascent. Excellent. All right. Well, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, the Sunday puzzle in 30 minutes. Yeah, we had quite a feast of food puns on this Thanksgiving themed puzzle. We had everyday phrases reinterpreted as punny phrases about Thanksgiving food. Bank rolls is stockpile bread. 
Google apps, his research hors d'oeuvres online. A lot of these were really funny. Sage advice, pro tip about seasoning, stuffing, table wine. This one was great. Reserve the Chardonnay for later. Yeah, that is a great wine pun. Kick the can for make cranberry sauce from scratch. Yeah, there was a lot of great punny answers today. Even outside of the theme, news racks, things behind the times, that's very clever. There were some good ambiguous clues too. Pluck for tweeze. That one really got me. Quarterbacks, eagles. Yeah, we haven't had eagles as quarterbacks in quite some time, actually. It's been about 20 years, I think. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed preparing that Thanksgiving meal with me. If you want to keep this gravy train rolling, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. All right. I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.